Hi guys and welcome to another Surface RT quick look video and in this video we're going to see how the Surface RT copes with a printer. So I'm basically going to plug the printer straight in, see what happens, see if I can print anything off and see what happens. Now obviously in the past uh, you've been able to pretty much plug in printers into the laptop and it will work without too much complaint. Sometimes it needs a, a CD driver, sometimes it doesn't, depending on the printer. To be honest, I'm not sure what this printer is going to need. I'm hoping I can just plug it in and it'll work straight away. If it doesn't, then maybe I will have to in install a driver, but we'll have to see. So, let's see what happens when I plug in the printer, basically into the Surface RT and see how it responds before I try and print anything. in that pops. So it made a noise to indicate that it has detected that something's been plugged in but it's not giving me any particular interesting signs at whether it's detected a printer as such. Uh, if I go to devices it's saying that there's nothing to send at the moment so it doesn't look as though it's picked anything up. Um, let's just go straight to printing and see if I can actually do anything uh, about actually printing. So I'll do control P the old Windows uh, printing style and it's given me two options which are to send to OneNote and uh, an XPS document writer. So there doesn't seem to be any clear indication there that it's picked up that that is a printer. So I think I'm going to have to pause the video at this point and see if we can find a driver and see if that will install in the Surface RT. Now obviously I have no idea if this is going to work and to be honest I'm quite happy that I'm a bit naive on this because you may encounter the same thing if you try and plug in a printer and it doesn't work. Does this work on a Surface RT tablet and not Surface RT Pro? It's a bit, probably a bit of a deal breaker this um, for whether students and business institutions are going to want to use the tablet if you can plug in a printer and it works. So I'll be back in a second and I'll let you know what happens. So the first thing I've tried to do is to obviously find the driver for the printer uh, in question, which is uh, this Pixma IP460, and uh, I told it that it's a Windows 8 operating system, even though I know it's a Windows 8 RT operating system, and I found the driver, and if I do that, accept and run, uh, this is a problem that you will encounter, because you're downloading an executable file, an .exe file, which is obviously a very common Windows file. The only problem is it's not a very common Windows RT file, because what happens is that it says that this uh, app can't run on your PC, uh, and you'll have to get something from the Windows Store. So, uh, this is a problem that will come up if you try and download any previous Windows program uh, for the RT. This is the difference between the RT and the normal Windows operating system. So let's go to the App Store and see if I can find anything suitable for my Canon printer. So I've gone to the Windows App Store and I've found this Canon Inkjet printer utility. Uh, let's give it a whirl, let's just install it and see what happens. I'm not entirely sure if this is a driver or a bit of software that allows some customization for uh, printing on Canon inkjects. Uh, we'll soon find out as, uh, as soon as it's finished installing. Okay, that has uh, finished installing its update. Let's uh, have a look at it, see if it uh, tells me anything. A driver supported by the software is not installed. Okay, that's all wonderful. Uh, what do I do at this point? I hope you saw that. It came up with a message that the um, I don't have a driver, which uh, is not looking too good. And now it looks as if it's just sending me to Canon Supports, where it's saying I need a flash player. So I'm running into all sorts of problems at the moment. So I guess I'll be back in a few moments if I can see, see if I can find anything out about what I've just downloaded because that doesn't seem to have helped me whatsoever. Okay, I'm starting to run out of ideas a little bit. I went on to a general search just to see if there was any particular issues with uh, printers on Windows RT and it said that basically uh, you shouldn't need to install any drivers 
Uh, most printers should work as long as their Windows RT certified. Now that's a bit of a worry because there are probably uh, thousands of printers out there that aren't necessarily Windows RT certified. Uh, so I've gone to the control panel in the desktop and I'm going to do, um, well first of all I'm just going to unplug the printer and then plug it back in just make sure that might have a desired effect. So it does, de it does detect a USB device because it's making a noise to say that yes you plugged this something in or unplugged something in. But then it doesn't tell me anything about the printer. So I'm going to go to advanced printer setup and now I'm going to let it search for a printer. Uh, see if it finds anything. Uh, this printer is probably, it's just a generic cheapish printer. But the idea of Windows is that you should be able to plug in any device and it should work. Now we had problems before with Windows 7 where some printers didn't originally work for it and then it solved itself but it looks as if we've got the same problem again. And I'm not sure if this is a product of Windows 8 or it's a product of Windows RT. If it's a, a fault within Windows RT then that's a, a bit of a flaw with the tablet itself because it's not really selling itself as a uh, tablet PC device if I can't plug in any old um, printer and expect and ha just expect it to work and then it doesn't. So I basically can't print anything uh, with a printer I've got unless I do some more investigation or I wait for Canon to release a particular driver. Um, I, would, I was just assuming that I'd be able to plug it in and it would work. I've spent 10 minutes on this and I've not been able to find it. So it's a bit of a problem. Now, of course, this is a problem that's very specific to me. It's uh, a problem with uh, my printer uh, on the tablet, so you may not find the same thing. Uh, but it's just another bit of a negative point in that I was hoping that I would have no pro printer problems whatsoever. Uh, this printer works on other, tab uh, other laptops in the house fine, but it doesn't work on this tablet. I did a little bit more research after playing about with a tablet, and I'm now on my laptop. And I found this Compatibility Center website, uh, which I will put in the description, uh, which is now looking for compatible hardware with the Windows RT software. So I've put in my uh, printer model, which is this Canon IP4600, uh, and it looks here as if my printer is not compatible. And it's just by pure chance, it seems, that this pr particular printer is not compatible. If I click on it, uh, it, on the RT1 it says no info is available. Uh, not compatible, it has one vote. If I click on Windows 7, it uh, has three compatible votes. And if I click on Windows 8, it has a mixture of compatible votes, but mostly not compatible. So it could be that in this particular example, I've just been very unlucky and unfortunate to have a printer that's not compatible with the Windows operating system. But it's again a bit of a shame that uh, a printer, well you just expect any printer to work on a Windows operating system regardless of what type it is and unfortunately this doesn't seem to be the case, which is a bit unfortunate. So thanks for watching, if you do have any help please tell me, I'd love to fix this and then give you a basics video on it, but for now uh, the Surface RT is not uh, working with the printer. See you again soon in another video.